We got round three of pick first standard. We've got the E.H. Taylor single barrel store pick versus the regular E.H. Taylor single barrel. They're both single barrels. They're both 100 proof. They're both aged around eight years, but we don't know. They didn't disclose that information to us, but whatever. Which one's better? We're about to find out. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Neat Bourbon. My name's Tanner, and today we've got round three of our pick first standards. So we're going to be mixing it up a little bit today. I don't know which one of these is the pick and which one's the standard, but I do know they're both E.H. Taylor single barrels. So I want to go ahead and get into these. I'm pretty excited to do this one today. So um, I rarely get to have E.H. Taylor single barrel, so I'm not really sure you know, what it, what exactly we looking for. I have a small batch pretty frequently, but, okay. Hmm. So, getting a scotch of, a lot, a lot of like spice, like a barrel of spice I'm picking up on that. Getting a little bit of like a, an oak note. It's more like a wood oak. If that makes sense, it's not more like a deep, rich oak. It's more of a brighter oak. Getting like the faintest hint of like a red berry. It's not really overwhelming. I feel like the red berry really jumps out a lot on the uh, the small batch. Let's go ahead and get into the palate. Cheers. Yeah. The red fruit definitely comes through very... It's a lot more apparent there on the palate. But it's more, I get more like medicinal cherry and like like a cherry cough syrup. Um, it's kind of weird. I, I don't know if that's just because uh, it's our first sip of bourbon of the day. Maybe it's got a little bit of like the ethanol burn and like that ethanol burn with the cherry note. Kind of makes me think of like a cough syrup. It's not, not in a bad way, but just like, you know, trying to convey what, what that note is. Yeah, it's still, it's a really strong cherry. You know, a lot of barrel spice there. Scotch oak, cinnamony, definitely a lot of cinnamon there. No caramel, but like cinnamon coming through with like the sweetness with the cherry along with that barrel spice. Let's go ahead and get into the second glass. Man, that is like spot on. I think this one might be a scotch sweeter. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, those are... Like, I mean, very similar. Man, I don't know. Anyways, get to the palate. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, getting that same medicinal cherry nip. Hmm. Gonna go back. So, yeah, it's getting that. I don't know if I'm just like getting like a little bit of the ethanol in the both of these. I don't know if it's just because, you know, it's my first sip of bourbon of the day, but that cherry note is like a cherry cough syrup. It's like kind of what I'm getting in both of them. It's kind of weird. I don't necessarily remember that, you know, being the cherry note that I, you know, get on those, but I'm picking it up in both of these. Uh, they both have that peppery finish, that cinnamon peppery finish going on. Uh, like there's no caramel sweetness. It is like like have that barrel spice oak, you know, dancing around there on the tongue. I do really like both of these pours. Um, but picking a winner, I think we might have to give the nod slightly to glass one. Although glass two came off a little bit sweeter on the nose, I think glass one just delivered a little bit more of that cherry note, which I did I did personally like really enjoy. So uh, this glass here was, you know, no slouch. And I mean, I am like splitting hairs. These are incredibly close. I mean, I have no idea if this is the pick or that's the pick. And honestly, that's so close. I wouldn't even really say that with the two bottles I have, if there's like really a noticeable difference. Like I'm, I really had to look to pick out a little bit more sweetness. But anyways, our winner is, ah, it's the pick. Got a P on the bottom. Dang, I was kind of hoping the non-pick was going to win just so we would have three pick victories in a row. But anyways, yeah, we got the pick winning again. I mean, this, 
I don't think that it's worth necessarily on this one for like my one experience I have, you know, going out and trying to hunt a pick on the E.H. Taylor single barrel. I mean, these are just too close. Like with those 1792s, I mean, the picks were clear winners. But for this E.H. Taylor, I mean, the, they are so similar to me that, you know, I had to had to pick a winner, so I went with this one. But again, not necessarily. I don't think that hunting an E.H. Taylor single barrel pick is worth it if you can find a regular single barrel. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Would you consider subscribing? You know, we'd love to have you. Getting close to that 500 subscriber mark. I'm about to be announcing my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. But anyways, you know, this is Neat Bourbon. My name is Tanner. And as always, pop the bottles and share the pours. And we'll see you in the next one.